Hello everybody, this is my restoration of loudspeakers Pioneer HBM150 I stripped the speakers entirely off I have to take off the woofer mid-range tweeter, super tweeter off take off, take off the front patch and then I will I will have to take off uh, the rear uh, crossover with uh, the binding posts and what I'm going to do is uh, uh, respray uh, top and front with black mat and the sides will be high gloss finish same as those HP HPM 100s which looks pretty stunning and then I have to uh, build uh, all new crossovers and then I change the cables inside, binding posts and a uh, bit more sound dampening and uh, new cables inside so that will be I hope a uh, massive improvement uh, from the old ones So this is a super tweeter, it's a touch like that, you can take it apart, which I will, for cleaning and unscrew these, take those plastic parts, um, this is um, um, the sound lens, uh, this is called a yeah, super tweeter. Now let's take off the drivers. Just trying to be really careful with them because they are more or less replaceable. Um, and if you damage it, then it would be really shame because you want to keep speaking original condition. Uh, this woof has new surround, it's been in amazing condition. And you have to be really careful when you're removing the batch because uh, if something goes wrong, this is pretty much just one way ticket. Well, you can still buy it on eBay or something, but you know, it would be a little bit pain, and it would cost you quite a lot of money. So, first thing I'll try to remove knobs from pots, and there's a silicon pad in there as well. Always make sure you keep it or somewhere away in some safe place so when you get back to it you will again find it I always put it straight in the bags and seal it we'll find out about um, there's like a like a glue or like a double sided tape or something some sort of fashion so I find out uh, it goes much easier when you heat it up with um, the drying fan or something just be really careful so you don't damage it so now let's uh, remove it with the fan. It will ease it up a little bit, but not not much. Okay, let's give it a try then. Job done. Now let's remove crossover. And that's it. Yeah. So here you have it. It's all taken apart. All I could take away was taken away. And now I have to get it ready. Just a little bit of sanding, you know, a few bits and pieces there and there where it needs to be done and now they will be uh, varnished and painted so this is going high gloss this is going matte black and the rear side is going uh, brown 
well, maybe the rear doesn't need to be done. A little bit of masking tape, and it will be ready. 